All right, welcome back. We thank you very much for staying with us here on Checkpoint. Our conversation is uh, coming up in just a moment, but let's tell you about the controversy that's brewing at the St. Barnabas Anglican Church in Kapenguria with at least 2,000 worshippers threatening to leave the church. The faithful have accused the leadership of the Anglican Church of Kenya of appointing unwanted leaders. Here's Elvis Koske with more. It's a normal Sunday at St. Barnabas Anglican Church of Kenya in Kapenguria, county of West Pokot. Faithfuls are dancing and worshipping. It's a celebration of having their own diocese. But under this veil of happiness, controversy is brewing. A diocese tussling this church is threatening to divide worshippers, with some members disowning the church leadership. They claim they have been denied their choice over a diocese by some powerful forces within the church. So, they are questioning the manner in which the SEK top leadership has been appointing leaders without involving local church leaders. They now claim their leaders cannot be trusted to offer leadership. Church members are threatened to form their own diocese. But Bishop Stephen Kewasis of Kitale Diocese, who serves 204 congregations incorporated in 38 parishes, disagrees. Serving the 200 Anglicans with a team of 76 priests and church workers say the faithful must use the right channels to air their grievances. Kewasi says some church leaders are now politicizing the issue. Kanisa haifanyiwi siyasa. You know, people like to, to copy the, the world, eh, the politics, and bring to the church. That is not compromisable and it cannot be allowed. And I think there are a few individuals in Pokot who have gone politics and they are playing politics in the church. We cannot accept and entertain those ones. Kanisa inabaki kanisa. Siyasa ni siyasa. Hakuna wakati inashikana pamoja. And I'm aware there are people who are playing politics. Hata walikimbia baka kwa ajibishop, ajibishop na wambia. I have no mandate. Go back to your bishop. Sasa wafuate sheria. Tunaomba tu askofu wetu ya kwamba, awache hii maneno, haritaya, hende nyumbani, awe kuka. It will be created 2030 or 2020 or 2025. Yeah, but the process is The SEK diocese of Kitale was formed on the 1st of July 1997 after the subdivision of the diocese of Eldoret. It encompasses the following areas, Mount Elgon, Transzoya, West Pokot, Marakwet and Turkana counties, with its headquarters located in Kitale. Elvis Kusgei, KT News, West Pokot County. Okay, so many analogies we can draw from that story with what's happening in the country in general. But let's talk a little bit more about that. Tonight, uh, like I said on Twitter, I'm really excited about the 